you look at artificial intelligence and you look at the expansion of it and the, the ultimate place that it will eventually be, what, what do you see happening inside of our lifetime, like inside of 20 years? Like what, what kind of revolutionary well, changes on society would this have? Well, one thing I, I uh, feel will happen in five years, by 2029, uh, is we'll reach longevity escape velocity. So right now you go through a year, and you use up a year of your longevity. You're then a year older. However, we do have scientific progress, and we're making, uh, coming up with new cures f for diseases and so on. Right now you're getting back about four months. So you lose a year, but through scientific progress, you're getting back four months. So you're only losing eight months. However, the scientific progress is progressing exponentially. And by 2029, you'll get back a full year. So you lose a year, but you get back a year, and you pretty, pretty much stay in the same place. So by 2029, uh, you'll be static. And past 2029, you'll actually get back more than a year. Uh, you'll get back... Can I be a baby again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'll, you'll, in terms of your longevity, you'll get back more than a year. Right. So you'll be uh, able to uh, go, essentially go back in biological age. Lengthening of the telomeres, changing the elasticity of the skin. Eventually, Muscle you'll be able to do that. Um, it doesn't guarantee you living forever. I mean, you could have a 10-year-old and you could compute, okay, he's got many decades of longevity, uh, and he could die tomorrow. So, sure. Um, so it, it's, but overall, there would be an overall, expansion of the uh, exactly. age that most people die. And that's something that we're going to get. And that's also using the same... Uh, type of logic is large language models, but that's not language. You're actually c creating medications. So we should call that large event models, not large language models, because it's not just dealing with language. It's dealing with all kinds of things. When I talked to you 10 years ago, you were telling me about this uh, pretty extensive supplement routine that you're on. Are you still well, I'm, tr that? I'm trying to get to the point where we have uh, longevity escape velocity in good shape. Right. And yes, I do follow that. Uh, I take maybe 80 pills a day and wow. some uh, injections and so on. So peptides? Far, so, yes, peptides. Mm -hmm. So, so far it works. Um, and uh, Have you ever gone off of it to see what you feel like normally? No. Well, I do that, right? Yeah. I mean, it seems to work, and there's, there's evidence behind it. How old are you now? Uh, 70, 76. You look good. <laughs> you look good for 76, man. That's great. Yeah. So it's doing something. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's working. Um, and so your goal is to get to that point where they start doing the, you live a year, you, you stay static, and then eventually get back to youthfulness. Right, and it's not that far off. If you're diligent, I think we'll get there by 2029. Now, not everybody's diligent. So. Right, of course. Now, past that, um, this is for life extension, which is great. But what about how AI is going to change society? Yes, well, that's, that's a very big issue. And yeah. it's already doing lots of things uh, makes some people uncomfortable. What we're actually doing is increasing our intelligence. I mean, right now you have a brain, and it has different modules in it that, that deal with different things, but really uh, it's able to connect one concept to another concept, and that's what your brain does. Uh, we can actually increase that by, for example, carrying around a phone. This has connections in it. Uh, it's a little bit of a hassle to use. If I ask you to do something, you've got to kind of mess with it. Mm -hmm. Actually, it'd be good if, if this actually listened to your conversation. Oh, it does. And uh, with, without saying anything, you're just talking, mm -hmm. and it says, oh, the name of that actress is so-and-so. And, um, yeah, but then it's a, a busybody. It's like interfering with your life, talking to you all the time. Well, there's ways of dealing with that, too. You shut it off. But we don't... We don't ha so we haven't done that yet. Uh, but... Uh, th that's a way of expanding your connections. Um, 
what a large language model does, it has connections in it as well. And in fact, it's getting now to a point that's getting fairly comparable to the human brain. We have about a trillion connections in our brain. Uh, things like the top model from Google or GPT-4, they have about 400 billion uh, connections approximately. Uh, they'll be at a trillion probably within a year. That's pretty comparable to what the human brain does. Uh, eventually it'll go beyond that uh, and we'll have access to that. So it's basically making us smarter. So if if you have the ability to be smarter, um, that that's something that's positive, really. Um, I mean, if if we were like mice today, um, and we had the opportunity to become like humans, we wouldn't object to that. In fact, we are humans, and we don't object to that. We used to be shrews. <laughs> um, and this is going to basically make us smarter. Uh, eventually, we'll be much smarter than we are today. And, and and that's a positive thing. We'll be able to do things that are t today that we find bothersome in a way that's much more palatable. The idea of us getting smarter sounds great. Great. It'd be great to be smarter. But... Right, but people the object concern. to that because it's it's like competition. Hmm. In what way? Well, I mean, Google has I don't know sixty, seventy thousand programmers, and how many programmers are exist in the world? How much longer is that going to be a viable career? Mm. Uh, because uh, large AI language models program. already can code, yeah. not quite as good as a real expert coder, uh, but how, how long is that going to be? Right. It's not, it's not going to be a hundred years, it's going to be a few years. Um, so people see it as competition. I have a slightly different view of that. I see these things uh, as actually adding to our own intelligence, and we're merging with these kinds of computers and making ourselves smarter by merging with it, and eventually it'll go inside our brain and be able to make us smarter instantly, uh, just like we had more connections inside our own brain. Well, I think people have reservations always when it comes to great change. 